What's up pretty boys and pretty girls, welcome back to another Walking Dead video. We're still on episode 1, done running. This is the second part to episode 1. Um, There's going to be another part because I did play through it and it's a pretty long episode so don't worry. Um, but this is the second part to it. Um, if you guys are brand new, don't forget to subscribe. Much appreciated and have me a lot. If you guys aren't brand new and you haven't subbed, think about subbing because like I said, I'm much appreciated and have me a lot. And don't forget if you like the video, then like the damn video, it ain't that hard. But that said, let's hop right into it today. Let's go talk to some more people. Eh? Let's go talk to this dude over here. Hey, how you doing? I saved your life. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. You seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? So it was just sitting there. AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can. AJ, you know, I gotta pitch this before privacy. dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know. Bye. Sounded rude. Like, get out of my face. Get the heck away from me, bro. I'm trying to freaking read. I'm not ready. Not yet. You must. Okay. Let's talk to someone else. Where's that one girl at? Uh, Violet? Can we go over here? Yeah, there's people over here. The cross. Hey, guys. Knock it off, Tin. Heard you guys didn't have the best introduction. It wasn't my fault. Ten. I really am sorry. Really. I'm sorry too. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried Ten Sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins lost them both about a year ago. Minnie and Sophie? Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe. I've never seen anyone do that. Yeah. Good. I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. By the end, I'm grateful that AJ paid his respects. Nice. Nice, bro. We're making all the friends. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlin. Okay. Do you say so? Hey, yo, Marlin! Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. Uh. I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good? That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? <laughs> Don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earned your supper after all. So 
So it's only these people here. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <sighs> Thanks. Wow, can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Hmm, this is really good. <clears throat> yeah, man, I was hungry. Oh, come on. Uh. Uh, manners, AJ. Where are your manners, AJ? Good night. Good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. Are you sure? You bet. I'm all done. Dang, did it really eat mm -hmm. his bowl that Me fast? Too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, Game of cards. God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Mm -hmm. Sounds fun. How do we play? It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. It's fair. What if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Ooh, wait, what about AJ? Oh, be gone. What about him? Looks like he's made a friend. Ten. Come on. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Flip. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. For the most part. Yeah, hey, I won. I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Uh. Yeah, what is it? What's what up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh, boy. Uh. What do you mean? She means looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one too. Uh, I look cool. <laughs> Whatever you, you got say. that mullet. <laughs> I say I look cool. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? I feel, like oh I feel like this dude was what? to give her. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Uh, oh, I'm she sure hasn't. I'm surprised about I that. I mean, one. yeah, Gabe. I met a boy one time. And? And we were friends. Just friends. Nothing else? Nothing at all? Uh, I mean, they had feelings for each other. They did. I don't know what you'd call them. But I had some sort of feelings for him maybe not exactly love but something uh, I win so Clem you can't have been alone this entire time who used to take care of you family anyone uh say Lee the first person who taught me about survival was Lee <laughs> what'd he teach you Lots of stuff. Most important thing? Where's all that go? Uh... 
Dakota to say goodbye. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Uh, the worst injury. Worst yes. injury you ever saw. I uh, saw a Walker get hit in the head so hard, both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. I saw this guy get his face beaten in with a crowbar. Badly. There wasn't even any skin left. Carver. Ouch. Hmm. He deserved it. Oh, Marlin. Marlin didn't say anything. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I know. Um. Probably Lewis. Lewis, definitely, 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 definitely. <laughs> like how you agreed. <laughs> I'd have said the same. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask you know your damn question. I'll watch out for you, Lewis. Make Ever? sure you don't die. Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. I killed Lee. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That sounds like a rough day. Yeah, worst day of my life. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Yeah, go night night. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. Long day, huh? Yep, real long. Uh, I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys relax, get some sleep, feel human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. And that would be good for AJ, you know. People seem pretty cool. Everybody's nice. No problem with them. That looks like a really safe window. It does. It's got bars on it. It's got boards on it. It's got glass on it. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like tin? Yeah, like tin. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten Sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to... Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's... it's fine. Don't... don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's... it's fine. Yeah. 
Uh... You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. Tell okay. I appreciate that. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. You see her, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. Is she sleeping? I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings, and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Uh. No, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie... Uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person. You know, I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. She's pretty cool. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Oh, thanks. I guess you were pretty cool too. Not there against those walkers. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. Why does she seem like every time I look at her, she looks sad? See ya. Yeah, see ya. <sighs> okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? Clem. Clem and AJ. For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's you a tried idea, really hard. AJ. How about here? Me protecting Clem. Collectibles can be found in the world to decorate your room. Uh, AJ? Alright, where'd he go? Hey there, what are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Uh. Come on, AJ. The bed is way better. Oh, man, this bed is so comfy. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? Hmm. I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. I mean, it's I'll be please. okay. I promise. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. Hmm. This bed is really soft. 
Hey, Jerry, where are you? So, it's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. It is nice. Me too. Was that how season, I mean, that's season one, episode one's gonna end off? If they think they have episodes. Not really 100% sure if these ep these have episodes because I did start off. I didn't get a, I didn't pick an episode. I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here. Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Ah, uh, everything's going so good right now. I just feel like you know, there's always got to be something bad. Tint here. Hey, Tint. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They, these were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've mm -hmm. never seen one before. Uh, they died in the beginning. They all died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Oh, they were weak. What? No, they were brave, strong. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey. Give it back. No. You don't right. even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. I mean, it was Tens Clint, toy. Please. It is Tens. It's Tens, bro. I ain't got it to do Ten like that. It's mine. No, no it's not. It's not. Chill out, AJ. Fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. You need a cool AJ. Look. Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? <sighs> Who's that? Marlin? Oh, it's a dog. Stay back. Man, chill out. Chill out, man. Whoa, what the hell's going on? Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, girl. Shh. You said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Sure, why not? You saved my life. Rosie. Shh. I promise she's not gonna bite. I mean, okay. I wasn't scared I of the dog. I just, you know, she's gotta get over the fear of dogs. Get down on her level. Maybe get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle. Tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. See? But it's nice having dogs so during that time. Yeah. Or during these Rose. times, at least, for them. Pretty cool. Now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. 
She was the headmaster's dog, back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. I mean, this guy seems like a pretty cool dude, yeah? This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. Ah, uh, like a hat. What's the trap area? The hunting like... grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and a Sam are set to go check them today. That's train. the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it where we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. Oh, What's check. out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. Get the occasional walker or two come by. Oh, Ryan people Roy should be heading out there in a bit. That's the only road that leads in and out of Ericsson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. Wanted this place to be hard to find. That's smart. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. And the greenhouse. Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. I had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So, why not go outside it? <laughs> I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I bet. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends. Mm. Siblings, I can't let another kid die. I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah. Well multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. Sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come off like a dick. Let's see, apologize. They're counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So yeah, what do you man. need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well... Sim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Fish for Violet and Brody, hunt with. Um. Uh, let's go with, let's go fishing. We're going to go fishing. Okay. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're going to find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. school map. Big place. You come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? Why? Do you think I was going to throw you out? Maybe. Well... As long as we got enough to eat, we're both welcome here. Go 
get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. He's a pretty cool dude, you know? It's not too bad. You know, I've been thinking. I wish we could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Come on, Vi. Are you sure you trust my driving? I promise I don't usually crash. <laughs> oh, right. On second thought. Yeah, I think Clem just totaled the last working car in the world. So much for your road trip. Are we going to the car? No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. We'd run out of gas eventually. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted, if gas wasn't an issue, or a busted car, the flat tires, or the transmission, buzzkill. Um, probably beach, you know. I'd drive down to the coastline, maybe park on the beach and go swimming. That'd be an absolute dream. You could spend every day in the sun and die of skin cancer. Fun. We're all gonna die. I'll take skin cancer over turn it into a walker any day. I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah, I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Where are those spears? Oh no. Shouldn't you know? Hey. About by. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Vi, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how uh. do you even apologize for something that fucked up? You I don't it. know. Maybe I deserve it. You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. <laughs> yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. We all used to be friends. Guess I just kind of missed that. But when you showed up, I, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. No, the spears are there. Do you? I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? See how she feels? About me? It's just been eating me up inside. Uh, sure. Sure, Why not? Brody. I can talk to her. Really? That's great. Thanks, Clementine. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? See? I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. Find a spear. Okay, if you say so. Hey, Marion. Hey, you. What you looking at? V plus M. Violet and Minerva. What does that mean? Uh, pretty sure that means they were girlfriends. It means that they were a couple. What? Violet was Minnie's girlfriend. Oh. 
love. Ah, oh, so she's a lesbian. Okay. Got it. Some old gardening supplies. Well, I know Clementine isn't a lesbian because she liked Gabe. So, like, kind of tells you she likes dudes. Cool. Ready probably get, get some fish? Probably yeah. get the option to make a lesbian or something. I always like freaking. I don't know. Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. Guess they don't realize it makes them easier targets. I wanna try. Take a spear. Go nuts. Go ahead and try. They're not running. Any luck? I got something good enough. Nice, nice. Looks like a meal. Nice, I'm gonna catch all the fish. Hey, I'm sorry if I was weird last night about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. Nah. Uh. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I'm glad we got to know each other. Hey, you're cool. <laughs> yeah. I guess I am too. Oh, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh. Yeah, give me that fish. Maybe a fish too. God, she's so. Oh, she definitely thinks you hate her. Jeez. Yeah, fish my fast. Oh, they're gonna like be right here. Yeah, man, caught the fish. Looks like they wisened up. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. I got one! Clem, I got one! Nice! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is between us. With Brody. I don't know why it's like this. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. Uh. It just keeps getting worse. Because you blame her for what happened with the twins. Well, that's what I used to think. I just keep thinking that things might have ended differently if I was there. Maybe I could have protected Soph. And Minnie. She wants to talk about it, you know. I just... I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then... I didn't even get to say goodbye. I... I wanted to talk to Brody. To tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. It's not as good to talk about things, you know? We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Asim. See if they had any better luck. I wonder if I kept on like getting it, if it would have like kept Grand going. Canyon. What? That's where I'd go. If we took a road trip, start driving until we hit the Grand Canyon. Yeah. That would be cool.
Thanks. Hey, you slowpokes coming? Yeah, we're right behind you. Everybody's becoming friends again. How nice. Those guys practicing making out with a toothless walker gross I know poor walker <laughs> <laughs> what the hell well, what this isn't normal someone sabotaged this this isn't good a Sam Lewis spread out see if we can find them watch out for monsters Hmm. Huh. Empty. Salmon cigarette. Huh. Is this a Bible page? Flim, found something. Somebody's got to have it. Jeez. Monster. Guys, over here. Well, we didn't kill this one. We wouldn't have left it hanging in our trap. What the hell? Found this too. Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. Who is this unlucky fella? Where have you been? Checking nearby traps. The ones that were sprung were all empty. All the rest are broken. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Just take a Take a second. Breathe in deep. And hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food, you know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. I'll take this hall back to school. And maybe we can ration out something. So what do we do? Eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? Let me think. Uh, the train station, but that's out. The train station. It's not too far from here. Maybe, but it's outside the safe zone. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. Or we could starve. Fine. Let's go. It's our best bet. It's either that or we go home with only this much food. It's because of like not as many weapons, you know? I mean like the only like long range would be the the um, that bow and arrow that, that that dude has. Uh, Marlin. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. That is true. Closer look. Can't be too careful. Ah, uh, like a body. Barely got out of here. It was close. Sounds scary. There's a reason. 
How's that? Could climb up there. I don't know how that would get us inside. We need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. Mm. I'm gonna go this. That bell might be able to get the walker's attention. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it, Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. I think you mean charming and mm -hmm. theatrical. Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. <laughs> I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then... I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! Hey, ugly! No, not you. Not you either. Damn. Fine. Make can I go back here? Am I supposed to go this way? Hey, look! Got to know! Got to know! No! I'm just fucking with you. You have no nose. There's a rotten hole. <laughs> Alright, someone get this job. Ready? Nobody! Look at me! Nothing, baby! One more time! Go, go. Really? Nobody knows that one? So far, not dead. So far. I'll let Lewis know when we're ready. You Your turn. What is he waiting for? Give him a second. We may not have a second. Come on, Lewis. I'll watch the door for walkers. Okay, AJ and I will sneak in, grab the food, and get out. Sounds good. Let's make it quick. Cut that walk early. Thought I cut that walk earlier. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. <clears throat> oh wow, just turn it off. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. I 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. Oh, so this is just stuff for you. I don't have to. What do you want? I just want food. Same reason you're here. He's a dude who stole our food. Your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already and organized some effort to get inside. So uh, you probably also knew the stash was there. Just passing through, decided to see what we could scavenge. Uh huh. And you just got extra lucky. Outside, I'm thinking maybe more. Tell me about your group first. <laughs> uh, I miss the days when we were all so goddamn cagey. It's just me and my ugly face out here. Lonely, ugly, and hungry. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. There, squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my merry. You understand? Take a, uh, gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. My attack. Agent, get down! You piece of shit! What the fuck? Just take a bag and fill it up. Go, go, go. Alright guys, that's the wrap of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, don't forget if you liked the video, like the damn video when it ain't that hard. Don't forget to subscribe, much appreciated. I made it a lot. And if you guys aren't brand new and you guys um, haven't subbed, think about subbing because like I said, I'd appreciate it and help me out a lot. But I'll see you guys next one today. Bye bye.